In September 2020, ALS TDI scientists publish an exciting new discovery. The discovery may help researchers develop new treatments for some forms of ALS. What they discovered is a new potential drug target for ALS cases involving the C9ORF72 mutation. This is significant because C9ORF72 is the most common mutation found in people with familial ALS and has also been seen in some cases of sporadic ALS. To begin to understand why their discovery is important, we will first try to understand the C9ORF72 mutation. The C9ORF72 gene is present in all people. It normally produces a C9ORF72 protein, but in people with C9ORF72 mutations, the mutation causes the production of proteins called dipeptide repeat proteins. Some of these dipeptide repeat proteins can become toxic, especially the versions that are rich in arginine. Arginine is an amino acid. Our cells use amino acids to make proteins, and the sequence of amino acids determines each protein's specific function. Sometimes, an amino acid, like arginine, can be modified to change a protein's function. One type of modification that can happen to arginine is called methylation. In arginine methylation, other proteins called PRMTs are able to alter a protein's function by adding molecules called methyl groups to arginine. Different PRMTs can add molecules to different parts of the arginine components of a protein. This can result in a few different configurations. Some PRMTs add molecules just to one side of the amino acid. This is called asymmetric dimethylation. Other PRMTs add molecules to each side of the arginine. This is called symmetric dimethylation. The small differences in these two configurations can change the way the proteins function and create big changes in many of the processes that occur in our cells. Yet, there has been little previous research into this process as a potential factor in ALS. In 2019, scientists at ALS TDI discovered that the most toxic dipeptide repeat proteins included arginine. Because of this, they hypothesized that modifying arginine may play an important role in C9ORF72 ALS. To investigate their hypothesis, ALS TDI scientists added some of these toxic proteins to neurons in the lab. Normally, Adding the toxic proteins to neurons causes them to get sick and die, as seen in cases of ALS. But the scientists found that cells didn't get sick when they were protected from certain PRMTs. Specifically, they found they could protect cells by inhibiting the PRMTs that cause asymmetric dimethylation. This means that by protecting these cells, scientists can potentially prevent the process that causes ALS. ALS TDI's discovery is the first to indicate that asymmetric dimethylation could be a promising target for ALS drugs. As a next step, ALS TDI scientists will try to treat other C9ORF72 models of ALS using various approaches that prevent asymmetric dimethylation. If they do, these treatments have potential to treat C9ORF72 ALS, and they will further be testing to see if these findings can be used to treat additional forms of ALS. By sharing our research, we hope that the broader ALS research community will explore these findings to validate our results in diverse experimental systems. This discovery could have great potential, not just for ALS research at ALS TDI, but for researchers around the world. We are thankful to our community for supporting this important work and helping us get closer to finding potential treatments for ALS.